us at the bar, please. Welcome to Tavern Tales. These are the adventures of The Rookies, a curated actual play of the tabletop role-playing game Masks, a new generation from Magpie Publishing. Previously on The Rookies, Solarian's been captured by the General and the team returns back to their headquarters after Camp Org off the books. Come sit down and drink with the enemy, raise a glass and toast to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So come sit down and laugh with the enemy, raise a glass and sing to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So I So he leaves that, the four of you, driving back <laughs> in your little car. What do you do? We can't know this information. No, we don't obviously. Know it. But I'm just thinking how to be angry and. How dare Solarian not text me back? That is super rude. I'm starting to worry because, like, if he was damaged, he would go somewhere and regroup and he would still have his cell phone. Unless he accidentally smashed it. He's good at smashing things. Or exploding. Maybe it got exploded with the explosion. That's a good idea. Guys, where am I driving to? Are we just leaving? To the to the headquarters. Okay. And you arrive at your headquarters. And our scene is the four of you are standing in the headquarters and... With a gross Tupperware container. XPay is giving the... Drive. Hard drive server connection to Jeb. And Jeb says, howdy. Excellent. I will begin work on this right away. He goes off. Do you want to take this Tupperware container of dead? He's already walked away. No, I don't want to babysit baby Russian doll tentacle monster cat. I mean, when it's this small, it's actually kind of cute. I strongly disagree. Uh, Terry vomits a little in his mouth. <laughs> Just because it doesn't look like a normal house cat or dog doesn't mean it doesn't have the potential to be adorable. Do, do you not remember what it used to be? Yeah, but it's not that anymore. Now it's a little tiny thing. Little thousands of eyes. Don't touch it. He gets like real wide-eyed, angry. And that was as XPay was just about to open the lid. <laughs> Fair. So how is the Tupperware plastic of the box surviving against the acid of the It's not creature? moving. This creature doesn't have any acid on it. I mean, you probably washed it off or whatever before yeah. putting it in there. So it's not leaking anything. It wasn't really moving when it was uncovered. So we just don't feed it and it should be fine. I assume creatures need to eat. Look pretty harmless. Wait, what do you eat, XP? Mostly from the vending machine. My favorite thing is Doritos. Sometimes I really enjoy Skittles. But like, if you didn't eat, would you be okay? I don't know how to answer that. I've never not eaten before. Would you like me to try? No, I don't want you to hurt yourself. <laughs> I, I would never recommend anything that would hurt you. But I was just like, you know, like humans, at least, need to eat. We got to eat. So that like humans part of their essence is to consume. I was created to be a human, so I believe I require substance. Substance, 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 substance. Did you get their lessons? You get what I'm trying to say, but I require it. Sustenance. Can yeah. we stop talking about food? We left all the snacks behind and I'm starving. There's food here. I can, there? I can go to the vending Those machine. Those are my good snacks. You want some Doritos or Skittles? Yeah. Oh my God. There is a call that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> Over the HQ system. Okay. We, we press the big button that says answer call. Blue lightning's face appears oh, yeah. over the screen. Mm. You can tell, George, that her eyes have alighted on you on her monitor and then roll and look away. Even though, you know, like that's... Ouch. Yeah. That hurt. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Rookies. She says, and it's not like a nice way to term it. Like, like it's an adult. You are useful. You are dumb. 
sort of thing. Hey, dumbasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but says, Rookies. Ugh, Firestarter needs to be dealt with on Baker Street. Everyone else is busy, as you can see. And then she like turns the camera and there's like this huge like global thing that's going Whoa. on just somewhere not ne- like just outside Halcyon City. There's superheroes flying and panoply of terribleness going on uh, that's being handled by adults, right? Because that's yeah. what adults do. Yeah. And you're all that remains in the city. Take care of it. I mean, if you can. <gasps> what? <laughs> a fire on Baker Street? Firestarter is a villain. I'm assuming. I don't know. I can't keep up with all these. She gets this like weirdos. exacerbated f- expression on her face <laughs> and she's like, goodbye. And then <laughs> hangs up like before you start describing things to each other. I guess we should go deal with whatever that is. Can we handle a fire starter without Slarian? He doesn't we'll stop fine. fires. He yeah, starts- he'd, he'd probably make it worse. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, what? grab the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Terry does. <laughs> um, and grab two. <laughs> just a reminder, too, though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, rookies. Yeah. Has a superhero from an organizational no, team this is new. ever contacted you before? No. So let that sink in the moment, too, before you as players are like, let's go deal with it. We're going to get gear on and it must run be, out the door. It must be really bad if they called us. I hate to say that, but... M- yeah. But does it seem kind of weird that we just came from a disaster zone and a helicopter flew in, and then the second we're back, we get a call that we've never had before? It I does don't, seem weird. I just feel like this is our time to like show Blue Lightning that we're actual well, heroes. Maybe we okay. can ask... Just to... Yes, perfect. I'm just inserting a move because you were all really boring with your Doritos and vending machine stuff. So I'm going to suggest that potentially time had passed between oh, that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it's weird. Oh, okay. It's yeah. just that I... We had I, our snacks. I, so we're good. I, well, or not. <laughs> I, ex- I inserted a <laughs> yeah. move to keep the tension high in the game. Mm, so don't read anything into that. It's just me making sure mm. that we you, continue to maintain a degree of A little of box heightened. that said later. Mm. So that's <laughs> not a trap. Didn't have to. Yeah, not a trap. Yeah, not a trap. <laughs> okay. Not a trap. Not a trap. Okay. Maybe if we do this, Blue Lightning or some of the other superheroes can help us find Solarian. I like this. And then maybe we can help them with whatever the big thing is outside of town. Anyways, let's go to Baker Street and figure what the hell we're doing. We'll just do our best. To the Honda Accord! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember what what the car was called. It was a big van, right, but anyways. If Terry was here, Terry would all grumble if not Honda turbo that's cor- out, like, you know, and, like, complain about the fact that that's, <laughs> this is a, my turbo that's a sedan car. <laughs> yeah. This has got a supercharged V8, 127 <laughs> goat power. <laughs> goat power. <laughs> anyways. It's like some off-brand, like, Eastern European brand yeah. that that doesn't rate I'm things sure in a horse. Like Chrysler Turbo Van. Or yeah, whatever. I think that's what it was. It's like a Turbo just, Minivan fine. or just, van. Anyway, from America. I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the Terry Mobile. <laughs> you pile into the van. Is there anything else you would like to have? Terry Chase has like got a fire extinguisher. Is there anything else you would like to do before you arrive at Baker Street? No. The monster's at the HQ, right? They're not in the back of the van anymore. Just double checking we're not bringing it with us. Okay, I'm going to remind... <laughs> Can you rem- can you tell Jeb to like watch the monster and make sure it doesn't get out of the... Doesn't wake up or whatever? I can definitely do that, but when he's looking at technology things, he's pretty distracted. Terry's like, it's okay, guys. I put it in the cooler. Like that the, works. The, fr- the mini fridge. I put the whole Rubbermaid in the mini fridge. <laughs> it's not really a mini fridge. It's more like a maxi mini fridge. And I saw, It's like a regular fridge that we just have co-opted for drinks. I took, had to take the drinks out. Though. I, and I saw on Indiana Jones number four that a fridge can survive a nuclear explosion. So yeah, that's works. the exact same fridge we have. Yeah. Cool. You jump in the car and you head towards yep. Baker Street. And the general looks at Solarian waiting for an answer. <laughs> You're saying that they all left me? Well, they didn't spend much time trying to find you. Even Adora? especially adora oh you're You're so mean such a dick (laughs) yes you are george (laughs) this is your fault it's not me Uh, it's not i'm i'm not sure what to say um i know look maybe it's time to come clean a little bit more here i could really use your help the rest of the team 
are on the right path, I hope. But I can't interfere too much because the more I say, the more I change. And the more I change means the more unlikely we're to come out of this on top. I've already seen the vast wasteland that is to come. And I really don't want the prophetess to take us there. I guess, what do you need me to do? Don't let them die. Contain your powers. The prophetess is trying to lead you specifically to points where she has created incursion events that allow these slivers to grow into greater catastrophic things. But you're one of the few entities that has the power to rend space and time and allow our world to be connected with this other one. You need to be very careful, Solarian. But why would I help them after they just left me there? Your friends? Are they really my friends? That's a good question. (laughs) But I need you to help me because they're important. I... I I guess if it means saving of the world, but I don't know if I can trust them again. That's up to you, Solarian. I know they're trustworthy. I guess. They have and will forever be my closest friends. He looks so sad when he says that, like, because he knows. He doesn't even po- look. He points, like, behind him, and you can see with your you know, abilities and vision and whatnot. There is some sort of fire that is happening down the street and, you know, towards the river. They could really use your help right now. (laughs) So this is exactly when Lex Luthor totally like tries to seduce Superboy in the comics against the Young Justice League. And I'm so upset right now. This is just side commentary. (laughs) So you're enjoying this? Yes. Okay. (laughs) Because it's working. I'm so mad at you, George. (laughs) And I I can't know this. And I really like how Marie Claire says that while looking at Allison. She's actually (laughs) mad at me, not George, but Allison. No, that's not the case. That's how it feels. (laughs) Fair. Because, George, you're doing this. I know. So this is the playbook, right? Like you're... Yeah, yeah. um, But... (laughs) I mean, be seen. He points <laughs> down there, and what do you do? Can I see what he's pointing at, or do I have to like walk over and see what he's pointing at? Uh, you are sure you can okay. see. Okay, uh, you walk over to you the glass everywhere. and you look, and you see. Yes, your friends are arrayed against a guy made out of fire. If you insist, I will burn it all down. I asked for 12 dozen donuts and you gave me 11. (laughs) Somebody has an anger condition. And there is this bakery on Baker Street that is on fire. And there are people inside of it. And there is this road that is basically melted where he is raging out front and throwing his hands up. There is an opening in the front of the building. And our team of four superheroes are arrayed against him. And down the street, out of harm's way, is the turbo van, which is going to basically become the name of the yeah. superhero vehicle, the turbo van. And you're all arrayed in different poses. So you can describe for that where we're at. And then I'll ask you all, what do you do? Where are you currently XPay in this setting? XPay has an angry condition. And so XPay is currently yelling at this fire starter that it doesn't make sense for him to be getting so mad over a single donut when he could have nicely just asked for an additional one mm. and that he needs to calm down, which is like the worst thing you could say to someone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So XPay is currently yelling at this. So are you going to try to hurt someone or break something important? Is that your goal here? Because you're angry? That would help you clear the angry condition. Okay, so you're standing there pointing up at the guy. What are you doing, George? He's in the middle of grabbing a couple people, trying to pull them out away from danger. Cool, yeah. He's got one larger construction type guy who is in line at the bakery. He's pulling away as a gout of fire is coming towards that guy. And he's you've got him by the, the scruff of the back of his neck as you trying to blur, pull him away. And yeah. Hopefully not snap his neck. Hopefully. And what is Adora doing? I'm going to... Uh, what do you do with fire? You try to 
sometimes explosions help with fire like because like it's You're how gonna you... fight fire, with fire no literally that's what they do they oh, yeah to that. to large fires okay. what are you doing okay i'm gonna try to knock something into him just to like push him back away from people what is that thing are you I'm ripping gonna... a mailbox out of the ground no i'm gonna use the light pole all right you ripped a lamp post out of the ground and you've readied it back in a to baseball swing baseball style it, yeah okay perfect terry chase has a word bubble that says screw this <laughs> and he has thrown the fire extinguisher at Firestarter Ooh. and pulled out the spider leg laser pointer <gasps> and that's where we're at that's gonna look cool i hope <laughs> like look it's cool terry chase it's gonna look yeah it, cool. it looks really cool but yeah. it's terry chase so as soon as everything happens terry chase is gonna be like i rolled a two and like you miss and it clatters to the ground and rolls yeah. to a stop at his feet <laughs> <laughs> and your spider leg goes boop, 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 boop. so we'll get to terry when terry gets here and we'll start with what do you do i will smack the fire starter sure yeah roll to directly engage a threat Ooh, that's a 10 roll plus danger 10 you get to pick two create an opportunity for my allies who are you creating an opportunity for i'm going to create an opportunity for x pay to save people and i think that's to what you're do doing some, well, whatever x pay well, whatever yep, you're going to do and and then i'm going to surprise them oh, okay so you take a plus one forward against them yeah okay perfect and so the lamp post goes right through fire starter and melts and bends cool. and whatnot. And you've tracked his attention and he goes as cuts deep into the fiery essence and core of him. And you've obviously made him angry and he grows an additional 10 feet tall. So he's now 22 feet of raging inferno fire melting the ground around him and causing undue trauma to the bread that was trying to raise from the yeast in a normal controlled temperature and it will definitely ruin that day's bread mm. batch for sure at the bakery i feel bad now for that yes this bakery is that located on 1212 baker street too <laughs> the bakery on the baker street mm -hmm. <laughs> he hits me oh did you not choose that one right i didn't choose that. all one. right so you take you rough to roll to take a powerful blow as the lamp pole you're wielding blooms to fiery state in your hands and uh, seven burns you badly so choose one i'm gonna mark two conditions whoa which two conditions are you taking i didn't do the rest of the team thing because you still have four team in your pool mm -hmm. and this isn't a huge conflict mm-hmm Otherwise, we would normally have who's the leader, what's going on. Not that big a conflict, but it is your first fight against a normal supervillain. Right. So I'm going to take guilty and insecure because of how I'm feeling about the fact that like I have done nothing to help Solarian and I feel that way. Fair. And I'm still like all of that. What do you do in XPay with this moment of opportunity that's been afforded you? XPay was still going on a rager at this guy yep. and then says, you really need to cool off, buddy. And then XPay kicks the fire hydrant that's right there. Okay. And this is like one of the first times XPay's really shown right. their strength. Yeah. You want to reshape your environment. So roll yeah. to unleash your powers. So at nine, I think. Well, you're rolling plus freak. So. Yep. Nine. With a nine, you mark a condition or I can tell you how the effect is temporary or unstable. I'll mark a condition. What are you taking? Guilty. Oh, yeah. You're totally guilty because you've done public property. You kicked the fire hydrant <laughs> across the street <gasps> into like a newborn baby shopping store. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. Sells like perambulators and bassinets oh, and whatnot. No. And it goes right through it, leaving this rain of devastation and people scream up, ah! But not we're the worst. You are yeah. definitely made guilty by this as this gout of water comes shooting out of the ground and it is of yours to control. Oops. <laughs> That's all. So you've got this gout of water now to control. And what are you doing, George? George is still pulling people out. So he's okay. quickly going in, grabbing people, pulling them out, like probably about a block away. So they're like completely out of harm's way. So that right. probably takes a Roll bit of defend. time. Okay. Nine. So a nine is it costs you. You're going to expose yourself to danger or escalate the situation. You're going to add a team to the pool. NPC threats. You keep them safe and choose one. Yeah. So it's an NPC threat on a hit. You're going to keep those NPCs safe and you're going to choose one of the ones below. Are you going to add a team to the pool or take influence over someone you protect? Can I just 
as a part of thing is that taking a powerful blow or no you're exposing yourself to danger so i will assess what that is post that but i wanted you to choose your thing first so my thing is gonna be i will add team to the pool might need that later back up to four team in the pool and then you are going to take a powerful blow Mm -hmm. as you take the fiery burn that was meant for someone else as you pull them out of the way roll to take a powerful blow come on crap roll this time Four. Plus, Plus your current conditions. How many do you have? One. So, so you only have five. So that's great. You miss. You stand strong. Mark potential. And can I use my martyr skill, which lets me add to my save and move something else down? When I take a powerful blow, defending someone, shift savior up and another label down. I haven't used that yet. And I'm like, I should use that because I get hit sometimes. But you did not take the powerful blow. That's why I was asking. You resisted if it's a t- it. I'm pretty sure. Well, that's why I got hit, though. Oh, that's if I you if I had failed. It. Sorry, I was yeah. thinking. I don't think you way. took the powerful. No, blow. you're right. I rolled yeah, too you, good. You rolled with potential, so you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never it's mind. a benefit when you fail it. Right. So you've gotten out of the way. You've got this gout of water yeah. streaking into the air. What do you do? I'm gonna grab a hood off of a car that's right there, and I'm gonna put it over this water coming out and try to redirect it at fire starter. Cool. Roll to directly engage a threat. Get him. Oh, no. No. Now, I'm going to say you're plus one on this because you've been given a forward by your ally here. So you've rolled four, which is now a five, Mm -hmm. and you're rolling to directly engage a threat, which is roll plus danger. Zero, so it stays a five. It stays a five. And we can't get you to seven? Dang it. Because we can only use one team, right, to help. The two of you and Solarian and Terry can each use team. And Terry Chase can spend... Well, wait, Activate. don't worry. Terry Chase is there. Terry Chase sees that you're having trouble with the hood and Terry Chase lasers the hood off for you because Terry Chase can spend two team to add two to a roll. Wow. That puts you at seven. Good cool. job, Terry. Good job, Terry. <laughs> Pick one. Laser pen activated. I got to do my Terry Chase voice. Actually, no, I'll, it, Paige has the best Terry Chase voice. Yes, absolutely. Laser pen activated. That's not bad. Yeah, that That's pretty bad. good. Hey, guys. Hey, I'm Terry hey, Chase. Yes, I'm, I'm Terry, Terry the Chase. 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 <laughs> so I, I, I'll expect you to say no to this. <laughs> what? But if I take something from them, can it be their flames? <laughs> well, I mean, okay, sure. I just shoot them wow, with water. I thought you were going to say no. You blast them with water and douses the, the fire eruption. They shrink down from their 22 foot high behemoth to this tiny little hot dog vendor type looking guy. Aww. Just wanted 12 he just, donuts. He just wanted his donuts. Yep. Just because you've removed yeah. that doesn't mean because a gout of iridescent blue hot purple fire gouts out from his chest directly <gasps> at your face. Uh-oh. I want you to roll to take a powerful blow. But Solarian... You are flying in, I don't doubt, right? Sure. You've chosen to go and help your friends, right? The glass of the boardroom opens and you can soar right out of the building and descend down to your teammates below. You see your teammate about to get riddled with burning blue flame, like so hot it's a bluish white flame comes out of the center chest of Firestarter at XPay, if you chose to intercede with that, you could. And that would be a defend action, right? I will I will do that. I will inter intervene. A streak of Solarian colored light flies in from overhead and takes the blow. Roll to defend. And roll plus savior here for Aaron and Savior uh, is zero. That's- a six Ooh. is all we have for Solarian's role here. Failing to defend, unless somebody wants Could to George help. George help defend? Sure. So I, do you want to help defend? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's probably easier okay. to help. So X-Pay helps keep Solarian in front. <laughs> you have successfully defended. And as a result, you get to add a team to the pool. That was like free money right there. Free yeah. money. <laughs> Solarian, you got my text message. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that saves and salvages Solarian, taking the power. So we're going to roll to take a powerful blow for Solarian. No! <laughs> so roll for Solarian to take a powerful blow. Oh, no, he just got back. Seven <laughs> plus three is ten. You're supposed to roll bad, Paige. Oops. Have we learned nothing? 
do you only have two con- oh, just two seven plus two conditions is nine and that is he gives ground and his opposition gets an opportunity i don't get to pick one yeah you can choose one on seven to nine what do you want to choose uh, no sorry you do not want to mark two conditions no <laughs> no i'll yeah i'll do i'll give the opponent an opportunity yeah, sorry. so that's I sorry, I was picturing it in my head as this gout of fire comes in, it throws both X Pay and Solarian backwards. Solarian is covered in a gouting wash of red flame, and uh, it sparks his own powers. The galaxy type light trickles back along this like beam of energy and it reignites Firestarter, and he is now standing there glowing in um galactic blue like fire and he cackles gleefully oh shit terry chase has thrown a canister of a fire extinguisher and has his laser of his spider leg levied at it and that is literally what chelsea has walked into <laughs> at this point oh hi all <laughs> i'm here just now i'm a shoot a canister go ahead go roll kablooey. to directly engage a threat Ooh. Good first roll. Yeah. So you're rolling plus danger. Eight. That is enough. The canister impacts into Firestarter's chest. His actual name is Paul Hobbs, and he works a hot dog cart, and it was exploded one day, and the hot dog water and whatever the mercurial blast of it was <laughs> oh combined <laughs> together to give him his superpowers. It's not called a hot dog. He does not. Hot dog water, man. He, he rages very quickly. No, he starts fires now. I get it. I get and it. that's what he does. And he was very angry. Hits him in the chest. Explodes. The dust of that chemical inside the fire extinguisher puts him out immediately and lays him out on the ground. But not before because you have rolled a success. Which one of those four on the sheet there for directly engage a threat do you choose? I am going to take something from them. Is there something to take? Can, Can I, I have a suggestion? I have what? an idea. If that's okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because like, she know wasn't here for the on. story. So I'm like, you could either take one of his donuts, because he's very upset <laughs> about his donuts, or you could take a hot dog. I don't know, something funny. Or you could take <laughs> anything else. <laughs> that was just, I was thinking it'd be so funny if you like took one of his donuts and like and ate it. it. I mean, I was trying to think, I'm like, if there's something there I can take, because I, or I could create an opportunity for my allies. Actually, no, this is going to surprise the opposition because I don't think he was expecting a... All right, you surprised him and you get a plus one forward against him down the road, but you have to roll to take a powerful blow. Oh, so new skill, guys. Hey, win. Uh, I have a new skill called Never Give Up and Never Surrender. When I take a powerful blow for someone more powerful than me, I use this instead of a basic move. I roll plus savior. It's one of my things I stole from another playbook. Ooh. Is that mine? No, it's not mine. Ooh. Yeah. It's called Never Give Up, Never Surrender. I roll plus savior, and on a hit, I choose one of these things. And then even on a miss, I go down hard, but I leave the opponent off balance and vulnerable. Pew. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> I should have written down the name. I could probably find it. All right. It's from the Legacy Playbook. Oh, I'll write that down for you. One sec. However, this person is not does not have far greater power. Than- what? Yeah. I don't know. I just came into Galactic Fire, and I'm a mundane, aren't I? <laughs> Yeah, he's only Galactic Fire because no- the Nova there triggered him, restarted his fires. You've never gotten to use it. How many times are you going to get to? So why don't you just roll plus Savior anyway? I don't think your Savior is even very good, is it? It's plus three, bro. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> I get that's the that's the thing. Okay. Know, apparently. You have Everything a Savior complex. I do, apparently. <laughs> yeah, uh, 13. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on a hit, you stand strong and you get to choose one. You get an opportunity. You're opening against your attacker. You rally from the hit and inspires and you get to add a team to the pool or you keep your attacker's attention. I'm going to add a team to the pool. Okay. Sounds good. So he goes down hard, lands with a crunch. People cheer. No one has been overhurt except for the people who were hurt before you even got there. Solarian has appeared out of nowhere and saved x I mean, x was in danger. I'm like at the end uh-huh. of the telephone. Yeah, you, you can table. absolutely justify your experience <laughs> later. This is what's happening. Yeah. XPay is holding a hurt Solarian in their arms. <laughs> and the bad guy is knocked out. You've saved the day. And the next scene is the group back at HQ together, celebratory. And that is where we'll end today's session. So good timing, Chelsea. Let's get we the have, hot dog man. Are you going to put that somewhere in there? <laughs> we have lots to do. Yeah. The four of you 
need to tell us all whether you grew closer to the team, away from the team. I would include you in this, but you did one thing. I don't know if you had even an opportunity to do anything with the team. So, hmm, this seems like a tough that choice. Does. Oh, yeah, I definitely grew away from the team. Yeah, no Fuck. shit. Because y'all abandoned me. I did not. We, I mean, we that's did. not what as far, we okay, we Why did. do you feel detached? Because they all abandoned me. <laughs> that's fair. All right, now you get to take influence away from somebody. Everyone who has influence over Solarian, raise your hand. Uh, <laughs> You're mad at me the most, so He's you can just green. take it. Who are you taking influence away from, George Adora. or Adora? All right. Yeah, I saw that. I coming. love that. I'm so mad. You're going to have to work on your relationship. I'm so mad. I did nothing wrong. He's too cool to have died. I know that. It's because I believe in him. All right. Whatever. George. I'm trying to decide between the two of them. So, so you have grown closer. closer to the team. But it definitely feels equal, so I'm trying to decide which one was more. I'm like, I'm thinking. Who made you feel welcome? I think Adora did. Adora made you feel welcome. Yeah. Give influence to Adora. You already, already have your influence. Ah, uh, Adora changed George's labels. Ah, okay. If you were able to go up in savior, yep. go up in savior, and go down in danger. Excellent. Now you may clear a condition or mark potential. I'm gonna mark. Excellent. X pay. I'd like to say that I grew closer to the team, to Solarian, because Ooh. he saved my life. All right. You've grown Ooh. closer to Solarian because he saved your life. Give influence to Solarian. I think he already has it. Solarian already has influence over you, so Solarian can change your labels. I'm going to say more superior, less mundane. When I broke the fire hydrant, did that count as something important for the city? No, but you hurt someone, and that's what matters. So you could clear that condition because you hurt the bad <laughs> guy. The and then that. I'll clear guilty. Oh, okay, cool. No potential for you. Do you want to keep guilty for now and mark a potential? He did, like, yeah. throw it into All right, store. cool. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Keeping guilty, marking potential, and <gasps> yeah, you have done it. <laughs> is that your first one or is no, it your sec my second? second? All right. Excellent. Moving on. Marie Claire. I grew closer to the team and specifically XPay. Okay, give influence to XPay. XPay already has Change the labels. Yep. So XPay already has influence over me. So Change XPay. them labels. Change my labels page. <laughs> I am going to change up in mundane and down in free. Cool. Not super freaking. Now are you marking a potential or clearing a condition? I'm gonna clear insecure because I still feel guilty about oh. Solarian. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to see Teen Angst All next right. episode, get ready. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. So we will start that though next time. <laughs> Cry. <laughs> This concludes this episode of Tavern Tales, a curated masks, a new generation game set in the superhero teenage world of Halcyon City. Our intro and outro music is the song Tavern Tales by the Bad Billy Band. You can find out more about the Bad Billy Band on iTunes or at www.badbillyband.com or follow them on Twitter at Bad Billy Band. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave us a review on iTunes or find us on Twitter at Tavern underscore Tales. We'll be back next week with more of the adventure.